In this video, I will look at some of the weirdest cars to bear the AMG name. While AMG is known as going hand-in-hand -hand with Mercedes, it was involved with a few other brands before merging together with Benz in the early 1990s. One of the most famous examples is the Mitsubishi Galant tuned by AMG. Introduced in 1989, it features a 168 horsepower 2 liter 4G63 engine. AMG added upgraded camshafts, intake manifold, pistons, and valve springs, among other things. It wasn't the most powerful Galant available, but it was respectable for a naturally aspirated engine at the time. It came with a unique body kit, wheels, and AMG interior touches. There was reportedly just over 550 units of the Type 1 version made, with just under 840 more of the Type 2 version. A few years earlier in 1987, there was also the Debonair V3000 Royal tuned by AMG. It included cosmetic touches like the body kit and interior upgrades, but no changes to its engine. It's no secret that AMG tuned Mercedes were extremely popular in Japan, and buyers wanted more ways to get their hands on AMG tuned cars, so the work with Mitsubishi is unsurprising, especially as AMG was still independent at the time. There has been talk on the internet for quite a few years about the Honda Ballad from South Africa. Although, this is not nearly as well documented as the Mitsubishi AMGs. Essentially, the story goes that Honda wanted to enter the South African market and Mercedes wanted a lower cost vehicle. A deal was struck that Mercedes South Africa would build these Hondas and sell them. Somehow the sport models with lowered suspension, alloy wheels, and a different body kit had AMG badges put on them, but it's likely that AMG itself didn't have much to do with that. Not much is really known about these cars anyways, and only a few images seem to exist. Nonetheless, still a weird story. Now we all know the AMG so-called minivan, the R63 from 2007, but AMG did modify an actual van back in its pre-merger days. In 1989, AMG offered upgrades for the MB100D on the W631 platform. The exterior featured a unique paint scheme, new bumpers, fender flares, and 15-inch alloy wheels. Inside you could get a 9-seat layout with AMG upholstery. The interior could be individually designed with leather or fabric. At the time, AMG actually offered a few upgrades for diesel engine owners. So for example, 100D van owners could get their 2.4 liter OM616 upgraded to 95 horsepower thanks to AMG installing a turbocharger and adapting the standard injection system. The next unusual creation is based on the W168 A-Class. This platform was definitely not a favorite of Mercedes fans, but its weird design didn't stop AMG from making a few prototype cars. Shown in 1998, the A38 was about as weird as it got. The 1.9-liter M166 four-cylinder drove the front wheels as usual, but a second M166 engine in the rear could be easily switched on at the push of a button. The result was a combined 3.8 liter displacement which resulted in 250 horsepower and power to all four wheels. Shifting gears took place via a 5-speed manual transmission that synchronized the two engines and had an automatic clutch. The exterior shows W210 E55 brakes set behind 18-inch wheels and an aggressive body kit with fender flares. Inside, a leather interior was fitted as well as an Alcantara steering wheel and a carbon fiber trimmed gauge cluster. Reportedly, four of these were made. This wasn't the only A-Class prototype. Shown in 2002, the A32 used the 349 horsepower supercharged V6 from the C32. 
It was built by AMG's racing arm, HWA, the same people who built the CLK GTR. And reportedly this was a special request from a discerning customer. So this A32 needed major changes to fit the V6 drivetrain. The seats had to be moved backwards by 7 centimeters, and the dashboard had to be extended as well. The complete axles and the 5-speed automatic comes from the C32, not to mention the wheels and brakes. Power is sent to the rear wheels through a custom-made driveshaft, given the very short wheelbase. The exterior included bespoke front and rear bumpers, as well as flared fenders. It had a similar look to the previous A38. Inside the gauge cluster was from an SLK32, and the interior panels were covered in leather. HWA also fitted a racing-style fire suppression system that operates at the push of a button. So overall, a very unique build that was well executed by HWA. The next weird AMG isn't really an AMG, but it's often referred to as one. The so-called B55 was a project done by Mercedes trainees at the Rastatt factory in 2010. Based on the W245B class, the B55 used the V8 M273 engine, which produced 382 horsepower. The engine transplant required the steering system to be adapted, and a path in the floor had to be created for the drive shaft to the rear wheels. They used a W210 rear axle for this rear-wheel drive conversion. Plenty of AMG parts were added such as the 18-inch two-piece wheels and upgraded brakes taken from a C32. A KW coilover suspension system and a unique center exit exhaust was fitted. A few other exterior touches were added such as the dark, tinted headlight housings. The interior was fitted with plenty of Alcantara trim as well as a steering wheel from the C63 and a custom gauge cluster. After the conversion, the car weighed in at just over 1600 kilograms, but a top speed of 270 kilometers an hour was pretty impressive for a B-Class. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments which of these weird AMGs was your favorite. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, take a look at my store. Link is in the description. If you want to see more Mercedes content, subscribe for more videos like this one.